Welcome to a new market update in which we're going to discuss the chances of a potential correction. Markets do not go up all the time. They do have corrective movements and especially if you're looking at some altcoins like Avalanche, Solana, Luna, they all have been going crazy, meaning that if you buy here right now, you could be buying the temporary top and the risks involved of buying here is just significant given the fact that a potential correction could be happening and harming your position. As you know, when everybody is looking at a certain asset or when it, everybody is discussing a certain asset, like Cardano for instance, it's usually not the time to actually start looking at them. And we're going to discuss Bitcoin overall, as Bitcoin is the one asset that is correlated towards the rest of the markets. So if Bitcoin is looking ripe for a correction, and I'm going to discuss the crucial levels, then probably the rest will follow through. But before that, do not forget to subscribe beneath, like the YouTube update, and do not forget to check out my Twitter and Instagram, where I'm also posting content on a daily basis. Let's first address a few topics that I saw earlier this morning and also yesterday. The first one was the big news of Michael Saylor yesterday that he bought another 4k bitcoins for about 177 million for an average price of 45k and he's currently holding 109k bitcoins. There is a lot. He's constantly buying bitcoins. Should you be doing the exact same? Uh, nope. Uh, but he is uh, probably one of the big ballers doing this and maybe actually a short term top signal. It's good that he is buying at 45k, um, but given the structure of the markets right now, we might be getting a corrective move. And you, uh, sometimes I see some questions or some comments on this post that, oh, you've not bought the actual bottom. No, with the amount of liquidity that he is using to buy the actual uh, Bitcoin, he can't buy the actual bottom. He's using algorithms or to buy tiny portions every time and then you get an average price. If you get to a stage where you have got this amount of liquidity, you can't market buy anymore. Especially if you're also like trading 200k in a small altcoin, you can't market sell because then you get the flash crash. Well, the same concept he has, concept he has with the... Uh, purchases of all those bitcoins for micro strategy but this is news we saw yesterday um, he's one of the biggest wills so it's definitely one to watch if you want to see what he's doing well i guess in the coming year he will probably just continue buying but if we look at the next topic that's what i saw on the dutch news today but also as we can see on cnbc NFTs are getting the hype and momentum at this point uh, where the Ether Rock has been sold for 1.3 million. I don't know which number it is, but there's like a ton of them. <clears throat> to me, this shouts bubble. The only thing that, it, that like NFTs are going to be massive in the coming years and in, in overall in our lives. But the concept it's being used for right now is just to compare who has the biggest penis. So... Uh, these rocks and those nfts are just a bubble signal and that's also why i said and most of these stock traders also do feel the same right now is uh we probably get one big run still for bitcoin which is called the super cycle where everything goes to levels nobody can understand anymore anymore for instance cardano at 90 billion is already such a level after that uh, we crash heavily, but we create a big bubble because of the potential future gains we can create with or future value with crypto. Um, and that is very comparable to the dot com bubble. The dot com bubble was kind of the same, then a heavy crash, potential financial crash in general, and then the build up of the actual adoption of crypto. That's usually what we're going to have see happening, but side concept of, uh, of, of, such a bubble is all those NFT things that we can see here. So I just wanted to share it, but this is completely, completely chaotic. So when we're looking at Bitcoin at this stage, I just got a very clean chart. I think Bitcoin is going to construct a range here. Do we see a potential chance of retesting 38K or 40K? Yes, it's on the tables, but you have to do it level by level by level. And what we can see is that the final resistance of Bitcoin here at 51k rejected, meaning 
that there might be a corrective move happening um, at this level. And I've discussed 51k a few times. Through which 51k is here currently um, also acting as the resistance zone. And we saw a red day yesterday. Does it mean that we should be um, scared of a correction? No. But it's one, it's a big lesson that you should not be FOMOing into positions at all. If you're buying Bitcoin at 51k without this reclaim, it doesn't really make sense. So if we break to the upside and then reclaim, that is an entry. But in trading and investing, it usually takes to be patient. So at this stage, 51k is a critical resistance zone. The area to watch for the potential support can be found around 40 two and a half to 44k that is that is the level that we could be looking at for a range bound construction for some sideways action we could still see 40.6 previous resistance those are the levels where i should be looking at if i want to long unless bitcoin is going to flip the resistance level for support in order to have continuation to the upside from there so that is the area or the, those are the areas based on the daily time frame for Bitcoin. When we look at the four hour, and I'll just get a clean one or at least a refreshed chart here. We can see that level to sustain is pretty much the level to, sus to sustain, but we've lost another level. So we're in between squeezed here. If you want to clearly have a breakthrough to the upside, we have to regain this level and then crack through this resistance. So regaining 48.6, breaking through 49.7, and then we're tapping the liquidity here. However, as you can see, we might be rejecting here, through which the chances are that we're going to drop beneath this small block and previous high. What is the next level of support? Well, that's going to be about 10% lower. It's around 44K. There's not much in between at this point. So if this level is lost, and I think the chances are significant, especially given the fact that we've got this bearish divergence here implying that we might be reversing. Then I'm assuming that we're going to test 44K. And based on the structure and based on the fact how sentiment is going to shift then, that it's, there might be a bottom. But overall, you're going to look at the fact of um, ultra sentiment, ultra fair, ultra fair in the sentiment. You're going to look at uh, multiple figures on how we bounce back up. Usually when we have a correction with Bitcoin, you just have one harsh crash, harsh crash, and then we just stabilize and go sideways. And that moment when it starts stabilizing and it starts to grind back up, that is the trigger where altcoins will start to fire off once again. So many altcoins have not been doing much yet, but I assume that from September, October onwards, we're going to actually see that if bitcoin grinds back up so levels to watch for bitcoin at this stage 47 here 47 mid that is the level that we're going to lose this entire block that's the small one and if that is lost we're going to look at 44k if bitcoin is able to crack back above 48 and a half and crack 49.6 we might be seeing continuation looking at ethereum we can see the exact same at this point so based on the daily time frame, and we've, we've analyzed this before, resistance is found at 34, rejection there, potential bearish divergence. If this daily candle is not showing too much strength at this point, we might be getting a, cor a cor correction towards 29. If 29 is not holding, then I'm still assuming 26 is the next level that I'll be looking at for potential longs at this point. Looking at AVAX, of course, this is a massive, massive move for AVAX. But as you can see, this is not an entry point. You're looking at a higher low to take the entry from, and there has not been any correction at all with AVAX at this point. Day trade opportunities can be found around 43.5. But if you want to look at any positions at all, I'd be looking at 30, I'd be looking at 23, and aggressive at 35. These three levels. I'd be looking at for any position in this altcoin at this point, if you don't have an entry at all. I'm not saying it can't go up even more, but based on the current price action, you should not be taking that entry while social media is of course talking about it. I'm also talking about it because I'm pretty satisfied for the project itself. Um, and also I've had a position in another small altcoin on that one. 
but you should not be taking the entry based on the fact that it's already running up heavily the chances of it correcting and when it corrects it can crash heavily that is usually um, not the best ROI to take at this moment so if Bitcoin is not going to pull through and going to correct even more you can probably pick up AVAX in those ranges here before the next run happens that's my update for this morning later today I'll be back with another one I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you again later